some time since I have recorded this video. I think I started this video three months, two months back. Hello! No kids allowed! This could be a safety hazard here. Donald Trump could never. It's a war. <laughs> because I'm doing this new thing of bulking my videos, you possibly won't see this until the summer. So welcome to the channel. I'm Katie with Nye and I am so glad that you are here and thank you very much for being here. Today's video, I'm going to be bringing you my room tour and I'm really happy and excited because I think I finally have gotten the perfect space for me that suits me and I hope you enjoy it. For anyone who is doing a bit of housekeeping or needs to change up their rooms, I'm going to try and put everything in the description or in pictures in the video as we go through with prices, where to get them, etc. But everything that is got here can is either Ikea or Home Savers because I'm obsessed with both of them. They are two really affordable options for shopping and for furnishing your homes. Let's get on with the tour. So while I'm here, let's kick off with the bedroom first. My room is split up into four different parts and this is the bedroom area. As you can see, I have an Ikea day bed, which before was used as a couch for the gaming room when this was like a junk site. <laughs> and it definitely has seen better days underneath these mattresses so we have the two ikea mattresses underneath on top we have my mattress that i brought from the previous house that i was in obviously i have some pillows all maybe like pennies home savers don't go skimpy on the pillows buy proper pillows it's really important over here we can see that i have the little bedside table which is high enough to get over the little barrier that is in the frame it is from home savers i have a matching one over in the office area as well the lamp is ikea and this little clock is actually from pennies and it is a clock that can charge um, at the same time and beside it i keep all my bags as well just for a bit of storage just because because the space is so small there needs to be a space for everything everything has its place and there is place for everything here welcome to my wall I'm absolutely obsessed with this wall. I love it so much. It is an accumulation of all my favorite places that I visited and it actually turns out that everywhere I've gone has been my new favorite place. So let's go through the pictures and uh, let's talk about them. So up here first, we have the Irish harp, obviously. It was given to me as a housewarming present when I first moved into the house in Newtown Cashel, which I still hang up today. It's loved in the back of it. It has a lovely little engraving about Ireland in it as well. As you can see, all these things have been hung up by double-sided hooks, which are really good if you are someone who's renting because they're really easy to take down if you're careful and they don't leave a mark. Please pass no heed on the wall because the wall actually has had marks in. If you can see the nails up here, this used to be where the, the screen was for the gaming. So it is actually quite bitsy because when they made the screen for the game, it was like a projector screen. Yeah, it was a massive, huge projector screen from here to over here and it was where they played games and hooked up their xbox and stuff so it was quite cool we're moving on to ciao bella this was before i had even gone to italy i, I saw it and i was like oh that looks really cool and it was from my very first apartment I we're moving on really really quickly florence duomo in florence and the Colosseum in rome both have been quite culturally significant for me i think because obviously rome was the very first time i ever went to italy and Florence has been the most recent. All of these trips, except for the Rome one, are available on the playlists if you want to have a look. So Rome was the one that definitely started my love for Italy, and Florence was the one that solidified that I wanted to live in Italy. So more on that to come, of course. Obviously, we have Pisa here. Pisa is beautiful. Love getting the Leaning Tower. Didn't lean as much as I thought it was going to, though, which I'm quite annoyed about, but 
anyway, I'm neither here nor there. These two beautiful pictures are from Heidelberg, which is a beautiful city in Germany. And we went there for a day trip. Of course, that is all available up here somewhere in the atmosphere. Marie and I made up, we're now friends again. Did you vlog that you had a meltdown? I literally had a meltdown. I was like, I just want to go home. I want to get away from yeah, everybody. I literally called mom and I was like, mom, I have a I'm going home. And at the very bottom I have Frankfurt and a picture of me and Albert because a house is not a home without a dog and that is the God honest truth. One that's been with me since I was 13, my mom got it for me and I think it kind of signified the type of person that I was when I was a teenager and how that has followed me through the whole time of my life. It says it's both a blessing and a curse to feel everything so deeply. Definitely in the recent years I've stopped seeing it as such a negative but seeing it as a real positive. Being sensitive is not a bad thing, it's actually really good to be sensitive because it also makes you really empathetic and sympathetic towards other people's feelings as well. I hope. So if I can move you swiftly into my sitting room area. So welcome to my sitting room. Obviously you know this couch. This couch has been a very long saving in the making. This couch is from Ikea and it is 1,200 at the time. And this L can also be put over that side the way it's made. So Albert loves it. This is his spot at night time. And I also have the home savers, upholstery, car seat, carpet, hoover slash mop cleaners. And it was 120 euro. I don't know if they still have it in home savers, but I know on TikTok there is a similar one which is currently green I think but it's a bit more expensive so you can look around for something like that if you're looking for a nice couch cleaner. So the pillows are second hand from my sister. My sister bought these pillows for her own bed and gave them to me when I moved back home and then obviously I have my two special pillows which is reserved for the dog and um, as you can see Albert really wanted to eat the tassel at some point and my sister got the special pillow at christmas time and it says sending you a hug katie because i'm always dying for some physical touch in this family and my family are not huggers which really upsets me so if you see me out in the streets give me a hug please i'm in need of like physical touch <laughs> so if you come in here into the little crevice that is my little side area i don't use this i don't use this area as much anymore because i try and stay and do my work at the table but i have a little side table here which i use for i used to use in the old house for like serving guests and we'd all sit around the fire and this would be like a little picking at table before albert of course and this was home savers i think for 20 euro it was like ikea i can't remember but either way you definitely get some type of like solution there got my little lap desk for my laptop that was a christmas present this was from home savers it is a really cool cup holder for my copious amounts of cups that i leave here which is really embarrassing the lamp is from ikea and it was worked out to be 20 euro and this is from home savers and the table is actually from home savers as well the table i think was 50 euro at the time and this was i think a tenner and it's really good there's horrible horrible coffee stains on this table so it's covering up some stains and for the final section of my sitting room we have the library now i was not meant to have a, te a telly in this room it was a birthday gift from my family which I really love because it's smart telly and we have YouTube and all that which I absolutely love using especially on days where it's raining the view locks windows and you can hear everything and it's just really soothing the tree it's obviously fake and it's from home savers and inside the library this was here beforehand it was actually a gaming station from the brother beforehand I just put all the decoration you see here is home savers and the books are just like an accumulation of my teaching books my favorite books and the game of thrones series that i've yet to read it's embarrassing and we also have this rug this rug was 60 euro in home savers really nice really soft and um, albert loves it okay so let's quickly move on to my wardrobe As you can see, I have everything out on these IKEA coat hangers. They're grand, they're fine. The only issue is that this one, not so much, but this one has a terrible, horrible lean to it. And it's really annoying. It goes up and down. They're obviously adjustable heights, but the only problem is it's meant to look like this, but it goes like this which is very frustrating. Mirror, full length mirror is Ikea, really good buy. I'm really happy with this one. And I also bought the smaller version, which you're gonna see in the vanity area. There's stuff in the back here to hang up. I put all my hangers here really. And I 
do love to have a good look and the fact that it's right underneath the window here i get a good look in the natural light here the reason why i like to have like this everything out in the open feel is because it makes me so mindful that i have a lot of junk and if i see clothes that i never wear it makes me think right it's time to donate time to go and donate and also it keeps the clutter to a minimum because if it's out in the open i won't want to clutter as much this is a really handy box from Ikea as well. I think some people use them as blankets or for towels. I don't think it would be able to hold blankets or towels because even with the few jumpers it has in it, it's definitely bending a little bit. But it was a great buy. I think it worked out to be like a fiver or something. So it's stackable. Definitely a thing you're going to see a lot is I like to use a lot of hangers. So I got this hanger in home savers and obviously it's holding on to a multitude right now. And then I found these really cool hangers in home savers, which are like, multiple hangers which i use on the back of the mirror for other hangers but for this it's really handy because it's going to keep my belts it keeps my bags up and out of the way but obviously if you live in a small apartment or something you could use it for jackets or keys or whatever you want to use it for and now it's time to move on swiftly to my office <laughs> This table is Ikea. I love it because it gives that work room vibes that I really look forward to. I think an Ikea was actually used as a painter's area or something like that. So I really like this table, really easy to make as well, which is really helpful. As you can see, the yellow box under here has all my tripods and mics I need to kind of reach for really quickly. On the other side, I have my mics that I used when I was doing podcasting or if I had to do interviews or something on Zoom, I always pull it out or sometimes voiceovers, uh, even though now that I've bought these ones, it's actually quite easy to just use these. Behind me, as you can see, are my famous lights that have followed me everywhere I've gone. I bought them in my first apartment and they're coming everywhere with me. And I use a package of the little hooks here and I just hook them around and it actually makes really nice ambience when I am working at night time or when I'm working in kind of dusk area. The chair is second hand from a office shop in Athlone so I don't know it's easy enough to buy a chair though and this treadmill has been the best investment of my life I think I've talked to you about this before it was from home fitness 200 euro and it's really cool and I put it back here because we will see in a second I had left it for where the camera is right now, but there wasn't any more space and I want to create a nice welcoming feel in that corner of doom. So I just stick it back here and it's fine. Obviously the attic doesn't have bathrooms, so this is the closest thing to a toiletries that we have. Obviously my Alex Nanny drawers for all my knickers, socks, bras, whatever. And then we also have a junk drawer full of phone cases. My passport, future Katie, don't forget the passport is there. In here is where I leave my sanitary products, cleaning products in here, some weights really and truly. These are two, I don't use the four and the three kg because they're kind of light. Only for arm days I throw out the four for the end of the week. Okay guys, you'll have to forgive me because my brother rang in the middle of that and phone also went dead. So some stationary cleaning products, miscellaneous stuff in the trolley more tan makeup hair straighteners whatever in here and i keep my beautiful candles up here which i love and finally the new corner of doom As you remember from the last time, I had no idea what I was going to do with this room. So I'm really happy with this huge one person armchair that my sister wanted to get rid of. So I took it and I've made it into a little kind of sanctuary at the moment. I want to get more lights over this side though, but that's something else for another day. This picture behind me, this picture behind me has fallen in every single place in the attic that I have put it in. So hopefully it'll actually stay in position here. I love this chair. And I just said I put in an extra chair here because Albert is always kind of looking to see what I'm at when I'm over here and just doing my makeup and stuff. And when I'm at the office as well, he's kind of always watching it, but he has nowhere to stay. So he kind of has to sit on the couch and he can't see me because of the wall. So he would like to sit here. I'd also like to sit here too and kind of hide away if I don't want to watch telly or whatever. The Ikea stool uh, came in a set of five or six 
six and they're used in the back when I hit around the music school. As you can see, I have these two containers here. The containers are not my choice to be here, but they're not moving, so it's very upsetting. But anyway, I do my makeup here. I have the smaller version of the mirror, which is Ikea. I think worked out to be a tenner, maybe. I have the two pennies lights, which are a tenner each, and they I thought they stick to walls, but they actually only stick to mirrors. So I'm just trying to find a different way around it. But for now, they're kind of freestanding at the moment and they're battery powered, which is always good. I have all my hair bobbins and pins in a little jar from Home Savers. I think the jar is actually meant for sugar and like coffee and stuff, but it doesn't matter. My makeup set, I have a Buddha, which comes with me everywhere. The little covers are covering up the pen marks on these cabinets. They are from Home Savers as well. And finally, I leave you with this. This is the very first picture I bought for myself in my home, in my little apartment in Mainsborough when I moved out first in COVID, which is really sentimental to me. It was too big to fit on any of the walls in that apartment. I think the apartment was about the size of this attic. But anyway, it's a map of Rome, which I was inspired to get after my time in Rome. I was absolutely just in love with the place and it really started my love for Italy as I mentioned over the other side as well but it also says Roma Italy stanno arrivando giorni milori which means better days are coming and I think that is a really good way to finish off this video it just goes to show that you can fit a lot into a very small space I don't know where I'll be obviously next year and it's kind of funny that I probably will be uploading this video just as I'm finishing and moving out into another house I was about to say there is no plan but see where the wind takes you which there is no plan but anyway the new motto of this channel is best foot forward and always land on your feet and god willing we're gonna land <laughs>